Hello everyone. Now that we have covered the theory behind bypassing HTTPS and have our captured setup in the correct path, it's time to get hands on. Today we will be using better cap to downgrade HTTPS to HTTP and demonstrate how we can capture sensitive information like password from website that default to HTTPS. So let's jump right into the terminal. I will be running better cap just as we have done before. We will use the IFS argument to specify our network interface and then use the caplet argument to load the spoof caplet. This is the same caplet we built earlier and it will execute the ARP spoofing and sniffer command automatically. As you can see, everything is running properly. If I type help, we will see that all the relevant modules like ARP spoof, sniffer, recon, and probe are active. This is exactly what we meant. Now, the next step is to run HSTS bypass caplet we just placed into the better cap directory. If you want to see all the available caplets in better cap, you can simply type caplet dot so. Here, as you can see, here is our caplet. This gives you a list of all caplets along with their path. We are focusing on HSTS hijack caplet. It's located here in the better cap directory. To run any of these caplets, all you have to do is start typing its name and you can use tab for auto completion. Now that we have run the caplet without any errors, it's time to test it out. Let's head over to our target machine and try to browse some HTTPS website. Here is my target machine. For starting, it's always good idea to clear your browsing data to avoid loading case version of the website. Now open the browser. And I will quickly do that using Control, Shift, and Delete, and select all item to clear everything. Let's visit. Let's visit demo page fire dot net, which typically use HTTPS. If you look at the top of the browser. You will notice it's loading over HTTP instead of HTTPS. Exactly what we went. Let's enter some login details. And I will use a enter it S3 Cloud Hub dot in and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero as the password. Although we get an error on the page. Let's check our Kali machine to see if we capture any data. As expected, we have intercepted the login request and here is the username and password. And here is the username and password. However, this method won't work on website like Facebook or Twitter that use HSTS. That, uh, that's because Facebook uses HSTS which is harder to bypass. In the next video, we will dive deeper into what HSTS is and why it's more challenging and how we can partially bypass it to still capture username and password from website that use it. That's it for today's demonstration and see you in the next one.